subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. India. और विशेष रूप से कोविड 19 से प्रभावी सभी लोगों और परिवारों के प्रति पहले जनवरी में और फिर पिछले महीने हम आपकी भारत यात्रा की प्रतीक्षा कर रहे थे लेकिन दुर्भाग्यवश दोनों ही बार यात्रा स्थगित करनी पड़ी हमारी आज की मुलाकात आपकी भारत यात्रा का स्थान नहीं ले सकती है एक मित्र के नाते मेरा आपसे आग्रह है कि स्थिति सुधरने के बाद आप शीघ्र सब परिवार भारत यात्रा का प्लान करें और हमारा आतिथ्य स्वीकार करें एक्सलेंसी भारत ऑस्ट्रेलिया संबंध विस्तृत होने के साथ साथ गहरे भी हैं और यह गहराई आती है हमारे शेयर्ड वैल्यूज शेयर्ड इंटरेस्ट शेयर्ड ज्योग्राफी और शेयर्ड ऑब्जेक्टिव से पिछले कुछ वर्षों में हमारे सहयोग और तालमेल में अच्छी गति आई है यह सौभाग्य की बात है कि हमारे संबंधों की बागडोर का एक छोर आप जैसे सशक्त और विजनरी लीडर के हाथ में है मेरा मानना है कि भारत और ऑस्ट्रेलिया के संबंधों को और सशक्त करने के लिए यह परफेक्ट समय है परफेक्ट मौका है अपनी दोस्ती को और मजबूत बनाने के लिए हमारे पास असीम संभावनाएं हैं ये संभावनाएं अपने साथ चैलेंजेस भी लाती हैं चैलेंजेस की किस तरह इस पोटेंशियल को वास्तविकता में ट्रांसलेट किया जाए ताकि दोनों देशों के नागरिकों बिजनेसेस, एकेडमिक्स रिसर्चर्स इत्यादि के बीच लिंक्स हो और जो और मजबूत बने कैसे हमारे संबंध अपने क्षेत्र के लिए और विश्व के लिए एक फैक्टर ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी बने कैसे हम मिलकर ग्लोबल गुड के लिए कार्य करें इन सभी पहलुओं पर विचार की आवश्यकता है एक्सलेंसी समकालीन विश्व में देशों की एक दूसरे से अपेक्षाएं और हमारे नागरिकों की हमसे अपेक्षाएं बढ़ गई हैं डेमोक्रेटिक वैल्यूज को शेयर करने के नाते हम दोनों देशों का कर्तव्य है कि इन अपेक्षाओं पर हम खरे उतरे और इसलिए वैश्विक कल्याण के मूल्य जैसे लोकतंत्र रूल ऑफ लॉ फ्रीडम म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस का सम्मान और पारदर्शिता आदि को अपहोल्ड करना और प्रोटेक्ट करना हमारी सेक्रेड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है यह एक प्रकार से भविष्य के लिए हमारी धरोहर है आज जब अलग अलग प्रकार से इन वैल्यूज को चैलेंज किया जा रहा है तो हम आपसी संबंधों को मजबूत करके इन्हें सशक्त कर सकते हैं एक्सलेंसी भारत ऑस्ट्रेलिया के साथ अपने संबंधों को व्यापक तौर पर और तेज गति से बढ़ाने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है यह न सिर्फ हमारे दोनों देशों के लिए महत्वपूर्ण है बल्कि इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र और विश्व के लिए भी आवश्यक है मुझे प्रसन्नता है कि हमारे विभिन्न इंस्टीट्यूशनल डायलॉग्स हमारे संबंधों को और सबसंस प्रदान कर रहे हैं दोनों देशों के बीच निरंतर उच्च स्तरीय उच्च स्तरीय एक्सचेंजेस भी हो रहे हैं व्यापार और निवेश भी बढ़ रहा है लेकिन मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा कि मैं इस गति से इस विस्तार से संतुष्ट हूं जब आप जैसा लीडर 
हमारे मित्र देश का नेतृत्व कर रहा हो तो हमारे संबंधों में विकास की गति का मापदंड भी एम्बिशियस होना चाहिए मुझे बहुत प्रसन्नता है कि आज हम अपने द्विपक्षीय संबंधों को कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप के रूप में अपग्रेड कर रहे हैं वैश्विक महामारी के इस काल में हमारी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप की भूमिका और महत्वपूर्ण रहेगी विश्व को इस महामारी के आर्थिक और सामाजिक दुष्प्रभावों से जल्दी निकालने के लिए एक कोऑर्डिनेटर और कोलेबरेटिव अप्रोच की आवश्यकता है हमारी सरकार ने इस क्राइसिस को एक अपॉर्चुनिटी की तरह देखने का निर्णय लिया है भारत में लगभग सभी क्षेत्रों में व्यापक रिफॉर्म्स की प्रक्रिया शुरू की जा चुकी है बहुत जल्द ही ग्राउंड लेवल पर इसके परिणाम देखने को मिलेंगे इस कठिन समय में आपने ऑस्ट्रेलिया में भारतीय समुदाय का और खास तौर पर भारतीय छात्रों का हमारे स्टूडेंट्स का जिस तरह ध्यान रखा है उसके लिए मैं विशेष रूप से आपका आभारी हूं एक्सलेंसी मैं इस वर्चुअल समिट के माध्यम से आपसे बात करने के लिए इस अवसर के लिए मैं फिर से एक बार आभार व्यक्त करता हूं अब मैं चाहूंगा आपका रिमार्क सुनने के लिए मैं भी उत्सुक हूं मैं आपको निमंत्रित करता हूं अपनी बात बताने के लिए well thank you eric and sidna namaste it is tremendous to be able to join with you again as we have done on quite a number of occasions but uh, for the first time uh, to do this in this format and uh, it doesn't surprise me that this is how we would continue to seek to meet in these circumstances um when you were the one who started the hologram um when you were campaigning many years ago and so if maybe in the next time we can have a hologram <laughs> of uh, of your excellency <laughs> here in australia and likewise um we could have uh, Pr- uh, president jacoby as well uh, because he similarly uh, used that technology and with a country as vast as yours uh, you have always been a pioneer uh, in the area of technology um for india and uh, today is another good example of that uh, your excellency can i thank you for your leadership um not just uh, within india but more broadly throughout uh the G20 uh the Indo-Pacific and uh, the stabilizing and constructive and very positive role that you have played in these very difficult times uh together with you know, our friends such as Prime Minister Abe um this has been so important um in our region and to provide that steadying and stabilizing and and wise influence uh during what is a an incredibly difficult time for all of our countries and uh and we wrestle with those challenges each and every day can i also convey our deepest condolences to all of those impacted uh, by uh, tropical cyclone amphor um this is uh, together with all of the other difficult issues that uh, are being faced uh, our condolences are with you for that terrible event and of course the industrial accident at vizag um these are issues that uh, are unrelated obviously to the covid-19 challenges but they still come and they still test us and once again you've proved more than the measure of those tests our relationship is exactly as you've said it is a very very comfortable relationship it is a very natural relationship so much in common so much shared if not in language always certainly in the things that matter and the values that we hold and we both seek to champion those values together in our region and to get and independently as 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 very proud sovereign nations and very vibrant liberal democracies as well and i think we hold that flag up very proudly each of us but when those flags come together in the way they have now um and have for some time uh, we're we only full of ambition as you said for what can be achieved in our relationship and between us i have no doubt and with uh, our excellent foreign ministers and trade ministers and others defense ministers and and others we can achieve a lot in the years to come in the indo pacific we are committed to an open inclusive 
um, prosperous Indo-Pacific. And India's role in that uh, region, our region, um, will be critical in the years ahead. The cultural, links, the cultural links that we enjoy between our countries are well known. And what, though I am even more excited about, Your Excellency, is that it's time for our relationship to go broader and to go deeper. And the things we are speaking of today, I, I greatly regret that we could not do them in person on not just one but two occasions. And I thank you very much uh, for the invitation uh, to join, for Jenny and I in the, to join you uh, in the future. I know she's very much looking forward to it. And uh, so we thank you. She'll be pleased when I tell her tonight when I get on the phone that uh, uh, Narendra has invited us again. And she'll be very <laughs> pleased about that. So we'll look forward to doing that when we can all travel. But I, I suspect there'll be perhaps some other opportunities where we'll meet. I understand perhaps at the G7 with that going ahead later in the year and, and other events as we draw to the close of the year. Today, science and technology, a new special grant round between our two countries for a program that is really joining our scientists together. This is exciting. A joint declaration on a shared vision for maritime cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, we, we share an ocean and we share responsibilities for that ocean as well. Its health, its well-being, its security and the, the relationship we're forming around those issues on, in our maritime domain I think is the platform for so many other things between our countries. Uh, the mutual logistics support arrangement and a defence science and technology implementing arrangement. These are, these are the, the substantial things that good friends um, develop together that provide the opportunity for the many other commercial opportunities that come our way. In a time like this, we want to deal, deal very much with friends and, and trusted partners, and uh, this is a partnership uh, which has stood the test time and again and is, is during the course of this uh, current crisis. Um, we share a vision for open, free, rules-based um, multilateral systems in our, in our region. Uh, whether that's in the health area or it's in trade or in other places, we engage in those as um, confident but sovereign nations, uh, advancing, of course, our own interests and mindful of our own domestic challenges. And I think you've navigated that path incredibly well, and we thank you for the way you continue to engage in those fora in such an open and honest and transparent way. Uh, the trade and investment flows between our country are not where you or I would both like them to be, but they are growing, and, uh, and they can grow a lot faster. But I think the comprehensive strategic partnership uh, that we are forming today, going to a whole new level of relationship, will continue to build the trust because we want commercial and trading relationships that are built on trust. Um, we already um, see a great movement of peoples in normal times between our countries, and I thank you for your comments about uh, the hospitality that is extended to Indian students here in Australia, and we want to continue to see that happen. And we want to see Australian students studying in India as well, as we support and would like to support through the programs that, that we run here from Australia. Um, I also want to commend India on its leadership in these multilateral forums, particularly on taking uh, the chair of the Wealth Health Organisation's executive board. This is a very important time to be uh, chairing that executive board, and I have no doubt um, that the way that that will be led under India's leadership will be critical um, to how we deal with the many difficult problems that we are encountering globally, particularly in the health area. Uh, so as we announce agreements also in cyber and science and infrastructure, uh, trade and education, um, these, this is a, a grand portfolio of, of, of specific and very practical arrangements that give form and substance to the comprehensive strategic partnership. Um, you and I have both, you for much longer, have been dealing in these international issues for a long time and there, there are many relationships and partnerships, but we know they don't come to anything if we don't put in the, the practical building blocks and, and, and agreements that sit under the relationship that actually contribute to the prosperity and the progress of the relationship between our two countries. So today is a very good opportunity to extend that. Um, it will be extended also in the agreement that we have to commit to foreign and defence ministers meeting in a regular two time, two plus two format. I think that's a, a great step forward. Um, the relationship also we have with partners in the region, uh, particularly Japan, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, the United States, others, is very important 
and we are both enthusiastically pursuing those bilateral relationships, but in increasingly in multilateral fora, both informally and formally. Um, that is providing, I think, a basis of stability in our region, which we which we can all share in, and we can drive the prosperity from. So I look forward uh, to this first Australia-India Leaders Virtual Summit today. I wish I could be there for uh, what has become the famous Modi hug, and uh, while not, uh, and be able to share my samosas, which I thank you for. Uh, we had a bit of fun with that on the weekend. So, so next time, uh, it'll have to be the Gujarati Kishti, which I know is a, a keen favourite of yours, and you've mentioned to me before. So I'll try that out in the kitchen next time we, before next time we meet in person. Thank you, media. <laughs> एक्सेलेंसी मुझे बहुत खुशी हुई और आपका समस्या तो इधर पूरे भारत में चर्चा का विषय बना हुआ है और जब आपने खिचड़ी की बात कही तो गुजरात के लोग तो बहुत प्रसन्न हो जाएंगे और ऑस्ट्रेलिया में भी बहुत गुजराती परिवार रहते हैं उनके लिए तो और खुशी की बात होगी लेकिन मजा यह है कि खिचड़ी एक प्रकार से हमारे देश में पूरे हिंदुस्तान के हर कोने में एक कॉमन वैरायटी के रूप में है नाम अलग अलग है लेकिन बहुत पॉपुलर है लेकिन मुझे खुशी होगी आपके साथ इसको एंजॉय करने का एक्सेलेंसी आपके उत्साह और विश्वास से भरे शब्दों के लिए मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूं एक्सेलेंसी विश्व इस समय एक अभूतपूर्व संकट से गुजर रहा है कोविड नाइन्टीन ने हमारे हेल्थ सिस्टम्स इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर्स और सोसाइटी सबके लिए चुनौतियां पेश